My name is um, Toby Breuer. I'm uh, 45 years old. I'm from Germany. I started kiting in 2000. When I saw a video of uh, Robbie Nash in 2000 lifting off flat water, flying high, landing soft. I was hooked. I do all these, it's called air style, strictly hooked. I don't unhook, um, I don't go into waves, I don't do racing, I don't do hydrofoil, which I think is great for the sport that we have this. Luckily, I didn't listen to other people that I should do this or these styles. And I kept my style while I started the sport because I wanted to jump. Water and jumping was for me just a dream. And then kite surfing came and it became reality. So Brazil gives me, gives me everything I need. Well, in the beginning, the sport was really unsafe. We had no quick release or something happened. You could not, you know, release the power of the kite. Um, two line kites, so you had, you had no deep power. You couldn't adjust to the gusts. That was really dangerous. And we had a lot of accidents happening. Um, nowadays, that changed. The quick releases are working, um, people are more aware of the dangers, we have a bigger deep power so you can take a lot of power out. Um, we have more knowledge, we have better kite schools, better instructors. So it's, it's very important to start with instructions, you know, to get into the sport you have to do that. And But then the progression is amazingly fast, it's amazingly fast, way faster than windsurfing or, uh, windsurfing or surfing. So this also attracts people who have overweight, older people, you know, kids, you know, the, the variety of people getting into the sport, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's an extreme sport because you play with nature, but on the other side, it's so easy that everyone can do it. It's, it's an amazing combination. Of course, you have to be aware of the dangers and you always have to keep that in mind. And there are certain rules which you have to you know, have to have in your mind when you go kiting, because then the sport is pretty relaxed. In 2001, I started kiteforum.com, which is the biggest international online forum. But this gave me the possibility to go wherever I wanted and take my work with me. You know, I meet a lot of people who, who love the sport, but they're captured in their life. You know, they maybe have a family, you know, they have their job, you know, they don't want to give it up, but they're dreaming of kiting. So they only have the weekends and, and I'm from Germany and I must say the conditions are not that great compared to Brazil, which is paradise. It's a dream. So if you really want to live this life and enjoy it, it's a you have to do something, you know, because it's gonna make you happier. Maybe you don't have a big car anymore, maybe you don't have a big watch, your apartment is smaller, but you're happy. So you have to decide what really gives you fun in life, what makes you happy. And I think many people are missing the, the opportunity and have the, you know, have the, the power, the kick to do it. But with the sport, you have the chance or you have something behind you that drives you to do this change. And I'm like me, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy I left Germany, I'm so happy, you know, every time I go back I'm like, oh my god. so lucky that I did this, you know, and I can always say, you know, money is not everything. The smile on your face after a session and then sitting outside in a place like that, that is luxury. <laughs>